non-constructive proof. Okay, so what's the idea? The idea and an example of a non-constructive proof is, can you convince someone, can you prove to someone that something exists without showing them how to find it, without showing them where it actually is? So that's an example of a non-constructive proof of existence. I'm going to prove to you that something exists without you know, telling you how to find it. Now, uh, you know, here's, a, here's an example of non-constructive proof, although you might be wondering, uh, this looks like a, 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 a kid's picture book. Okay, yes. So, you know, this is an instance of the game called I Spy, and you may have, you may also be familiar with a game called Where's Waldo, where you have to find Waldo in a picture. Well, in this instance of I Spy, you have to find this black cat in this picture. Okay, so I gave this puzzle to my four-year-old, and the four-year-old looks around for about 10 seconds and says, Dad, you're just, you know, you're just conning me. This is a wild goose chase. You're just trying to waste my time. You know, I don't even know that there's a black cat in this picture, and off he goes, you know, to the playground. Okay. So now if I if I want to if I really want him to solve this problem and I and I don't want him to think that I'm trying to trick him, okay, I need to somehow prove to my four-year-old that the cat exists in this picture, but then if I go and show him where it is, then that's you know, then then the puzzle is useless because that's the, that that's that defeats the whole purpose. Okay. So think to yourself for a few seconds, how would you prove to a four-year-old that this black cat exists in this picture? Now you can look around, right? Trust me, the black, black cat exists, and now you'll start thinking, really? I, I don't think it exists. This is a joke, okay? So I'm going to try to prove to you that the black cat exists. But, and, but now think to yourself, how would I do that without giving the game away? That's the challenge. Okay. So here's an idea, for, 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 at least for this example, just to illustrate to you the concept of a non-constructive proof. Because you might be thinking, there's no way to prove it to me without actually showing it to me. So here's my idea. I'm going to, you know, cover this picture with a black cloth, a huge infinite black cloth, move the picture all around under it so that you don't know where in the black cloth the picture is. Okay. Now I'm going to take an x-ray lens, okay, and put it on top of the black cloth just above where the cat is. Okay. So it's going to reveal the cat, but in no way reveal the location. Okay. So here, I've attempted to do that. There, look, you know, now. Do you believe me? A black cat exists in this picture. So I've sort of taken this x-ray lens on top of this black cloth and put it right on top of the cat. And, you know, I, I, I'm now showing you that the cat exists. So now you know that the cat exists. Okay, but actually the four-year-old has got the better of me because look, I've not only revealed the cat, but I've revealed some hints as to, you know, some of the things that are surrounding the cat. So I, re I really need, you know, an, 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 an x-ray lens that that's exactly the shape and size of the cat so that I can just put it on top of the cat and say, here, look, the cat's there and I'm not going to show you anything else. And that's a non-constructive proof. So now you can, you know, you can go back and see, can you find the cat? Mm -hmm. And when you realize, when you think about it, you think, oh, the, the cat must be somewhere here because, you know, that was the proof I gave you. But when you look, oh, it's not there because I've given you, in some sense, a non-constructive proof that doesn't tell you where the cat is. Okay, so we're going to talk about the pigeonhole principle. And one of the, one of the, one of the biggest uses of the, of the pigeonhole principle is to show that something exists without in any way, you know, revealing or, in fact, you know, you know, you know divulging exactly what you know, or where that thing is. And you might wonder, well, really, is this, is this, is this, a, is, is this a useful concept? Well, certainly to show that, uh, you know, the cat exists in this picture is useful for me if I'm trying to convince the four-year-old, but what about in, in real practice in computer science? Well, yes, it's a very useful concept. Okay, so think about bank security. So you come to the ATM. Okay? You don't know who's behind that ATM. Now, you want to convince the ATM that it's you, okay, so that it'll give you your money, but in convincing the ATM that it's you, you actually want a non-constructive or sometimes called a zero information proof. I just want to convince the ATM that it's me and the ATM shouldn't know anything else. In particular, the, the ATM shouldn't be able to go and convince someone else that they are me and take my money out of some other bank. So in other words, you know, I want to convince you that it's me, but I don't want, you know, you to be able to, to sort of in any way replicate that, you know, that proof. So I just want you to believe that it's me. Just like I just want you to believe that the cat is there without actually knowing where. I just, uh, digital signatures. I just want you to know that I signed this document. So I want to prove to you that I signed this document without giving you the ability to sign documents on my behalf. Because if you think about it in the, in the modern way of, in, in the olden days of doing things, you just write your signature on a piece of paper and give it to someone. And they say, oh, that's your signature. But now they have your signature. They can replace it. They can replicate it. They can use your signature and, and sign a, a, a check on your behalf and take all your money. So that's not good. These are examples of, you know, 
in some sense, non-constructive proof. Sh proving to someone that, you know, something is true without giving them the ability to find it or replicate or something like that. Okay, so let's talk about pigeonhole. 